The elusive and majestic DeForest Norsky, often regarded as the most awesomely amazing middle schooler in all of Wisconsin, and quite possibly the world, highly revered for its outstanding character and refusal to submit to peer pressure. No other creature has fascinated scientists like the Norsky, and yet it has largely been under-researched and documented until now. I'm here today at the DeForest Area Middle School searching for the elusive Norsky Borealis, better known as the DeForest Norsky. This highly intelligent creature is considered by some to be the most outstanding of all middle school students. Our hope is to capture on video for the first time the behaviors and attitudes that make Norskis so special. <laughs> Norskis are known to spend a significant amount of time in their hallway habitat. They hear a series of chiming bells throughout the day. These bells signal to the herd that it's time to migrate to a new area. Norskis know that they only have three minutes to reach their destination before the next bell chimes. These transition periods, called passing time, can be when some of the most interesting Norsky behaviors occur. I'm here in the middle of the hallway, perhaps our best chance for observing a Norsky in its natural surroundings. Well, I have to be quiet and sneaky though, because Norskis don't like to brag about their behaviors and they avoid cameras at all costs. Unbelievable, there it is, a DeForest Norski. Look at the majestic creature. The Norski appears to be using a locker to store supplies needed for the day. I think I see books, folders and other organizational tools stored neatly and securely in the locker. Norskis use lockers for, as a place to store supplies so they can only get what they need to go to class. Notice the locker is used only for storing materials and the Norski avoids common locker distractions such as cell phones, gum, or gazing at a picture of their most favorite celebrity teachers. This is purely a tool for the Norskis to gather their supplies needed for the next class. No time is wasted putting away or taking out supplies. The Norski is known for its impeccable sense of character. Because DMS is a large, complex ecosystem, the Norski has developed specific survival habits that allow it to thrive amongst chaos. The Norski flows with traffic in the hallway habitat, avoiding common pitfalls of the animal kingdom, such as walking the wrong direction or blocking the path of others. Scientists are also mystified by the Norski's ability to maintain an appropriate volume level while interacting with the herd. Oftentimes, it is tempting to shout above the voices of other creatures when walking down the hallway. However, the Norski maintains a volume level of 0 to 2 on the Herrick scale, equivalent to a whisper or a normal conversational voice. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Amazing! Look what I've stumbled upon! The Norskis are surrounded by a group of wild animals from a rival herd. These beasts, known as warriors, are known for their dominance over the high school kingdom. However, warriors are also known for failing to live up to the standards of the middle school Norski pride. It appears as though I've walked in on a Norski surrounded by warriors in a common hallway conundrum because there can be as many as 500 creatures in a hallway at once. It is often tempting to resort to primal animal behaviors such as running, jumping, kicking, hitting, or worse, PDA. <gasps> Notice that the Norski avoids all of these temptations because it knows that hands and feet should stay away from others. The Norski believes in respecting personal space of all creatures, one of its most admirable qualities. Today, we're hoping to catch the Norski in action 
dealing with one of the most tempting situations in their habitat. When walking through the hallway environment, the Norski occasionally comes upon colorful displays that send signals throughout the middle school kingdom. The displays are usually hanging by one single staple, and most creatures are incredibly tempted to rip and shred them with primal ferocity. Rumor has it that a Norski is on a migration path headed right this way. Hopefully, we'll be able to catch this temptation in action. I see one now. If the Norski succumbs to its primal instincts, it will destroy the display and leave it for others to clean up, sending a strong signal that it does not respect the environment. I think I hear one coming. Incredible! Did you see that? Not only did the Norski avoid its primal temptations, it also used its keen sense of character to realize that it could remove a piece of trash from the environment for the betterment of its society. Unbelievable. Talk about an amazing creature. Well, that's all for this installment of Norskis in Nature. Join us next time when we visit another interesting habitat of the Norskis. See ya.